Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I was inspired by Kim K's look at the Met Gala, which I'm sure I will put here. Um, but yeah, she kind of went for this like halo eye look. Um, that's super smoky, and then she had this nude lip, and her skin was unbelievably glowy because obviously it was like the wet look is what she went for. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna kind of do my interpretation of it, like a bit of an inspire. Obviously, I didn't do like a full on recreation, like I haven't done the wet look hair or put together an outfit like she did. This kind of makeup look is where um the inspiration came from Kim K's Met Look 2019. So yeah, if you want to see how I kind of got, got this look, then please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. But anyway, let's get into it. So I'm actually going to do my eye makeup first. I am going to prep my eyes with concealer is this Chanel one and this is in the shade 20 beige so I'm just going to put a bit of this on the back of my hand and then use my brush to apply it so I'm just going to pop this all over my lid I'm just using this to carve out my eyelids so obviously the Met Gala just happened and I was shook by Kim K's look her makeup like was insane that whole wet look was just like incredible what makeup by mario did and he did that like halo eye with the kind of like silver reflex um in the middle in the center so i'm gonna try and do something similar today obviously i'm not makeup by mario and i'm not kim k but <laughs> that is gonna is kind of gonna be the inside for my look and it's something a bit different for me but so I am going to start by carving out my crease um, using a bronzer so that the bronzer ties in with the eyeshadow and really like brings it all together. This Tom Ford one, which is their ultimate bronzer. It is like one of the best bronzers though that I've used. I use it obviously for bronzer, but then you can use it for eyeshadow as well. So I am just working this into my crease. I'm going to bring it up a little bit and obviously out. And I want to bring it down into my nose as well so that the contour is really, really seamless. I know that for Kim K's eyeshadow, Makeup by Mario actually used the KKW X Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette, which unfortunately I don't have. I've never actually tried any of the KKW products. I am really tempted to get some of, you know, the new like nude collection. Um, Anyway, that's another story. Instead, I've got the ABH Soft Glam Palette. The shade that was similar to the one he used is this shade here, Sienna, and possibly might use a bit of Mulberry, but that might be a bit too dark. But he used a colour really similar to this on both the inner and outer part of her eyelid. So I'm going to work that very, very lightly. I'm just going to take like a fluffy brush. It was kind of like a ready colour, and then you want to try and keep the centre of your eyelids like white so that that's where we're gonna apply like the shimmer shade now i've built that sienna shade up on both eyes i'm gonna take a small brush and this bone color which is called tempera and just put this under my brow bone to connect it all together a bit in the center they kind of dragged it out so that it all connected for the center of my lids i'm actually going to be taking the anastasia beverly hills glow kit i kind of forgot i had this but i needed like a silvery color and i remembered i've got this like this shade snow I'm dipping into that color snow i pack it into the center of my lids So now I want it to have a bit more like sparkle to it. So I'm going to take the shade Just a Kiss from my Desi X KT Frankation palette because this has got really, really tiny um, like sparkle pigments in it. Um, so I'm just going to mix this in where I put the shade Snow. I'm taking a bit of the Desi X KT Fuego highlighter because this is like the ultimate like wet look. Uh, highlight i think that's me done with the eyes for now before um i'm gonna move on to my foundation and then i'll do all like the smoky bit underneath after but i'm actually kind of happy with the way it came out not gonna lie i need to tidy it up a little bit but it actually came out better than i thought obviously i've got eyelash extensions so i can't on falsies but she will really like big lashes which i was living for 
But I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I recently picked up the Tom Ford stick foundation. So I've used it a couple of times and what I wanna say about it is if I had oily skin, like really oily skin, it wouldn't work because it is so oily itself, like it really slides around the face and you really, really have to set it. I like to apply it directly. I know this looks really, really dark, but then you buff it in and it kind of lightens up. Not a foundation that I would be confident to wear for a whole day. It's more like a nighttime foundation. Also, it claims that it's full coverage, but I'd say it's medium coverage and buildable. One layer is not enough. You need quite a few to get really good coverage, especially in like this area I found. Like it feels good quality, like it feels nice on the skin, but you do need a lot of product. For concealer, I am going to use in the Chanel one I used to prime my lids. Okay, and I'm gonna blend that in. So I've just obviously blended in my concealer. Um, obviously we want the skin to be super dewy, but I am still gonna set it because I don't want this to be sliding all over my face. I'm gonna set this with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. So I'm just gonna let this bake. She obviously would have baked her face because I swear Makeup by Mario was one of the first people to use that technique. So yeah, they definitely would have baked her face. So I'm gonna make mine because I wanna be Kim K. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of that Tom Ford bronzer again and start to warm up my cheeks and forehead. To warm my face up even more, I'm gonna take a bit of this um, Chanel bronzer which I have been loving. It's got like a bit of a red undertone to it. It's such um, a gorgeous colour. Like I really, really like it. So yeah, I'm going to use this to warm up the face. And it smells so nice. I know that sounds really weird, but I love the smell of it. So now it's time to blend in the bacon. So I'm going to lightly work this into the skin. So now that's all nice and blended. I am going to move on to highlighter, which is obviously key, especially from this look. Like, highlighter was obviously a major part. I'm going to use the Fuego highlighter. So, that by applying this with my finger, I'm just going to put this down the centre of my nose. This highlighter literally glides onto the skin. To make it a little bit more intense, I'm going to dip into my Soulmate highlight as well. Mix it in Fuego. Have you blinded yet? Oh, these two mixed together is so extra. Oh my god. Now, I'm going to smoke out underneath my eyes just to really bring it all together. I'm gonna go in with a bit of a dark shade. I might take that mulberry shade. And we're just packing it in under. Smoke it. It's probably a bit purpley, whereas hers is more brown, but you know, we're just inspired here. I guess it's just like my interpretation at the end of the day. It's not like I'm trying to actually recreate the exact look to set this all i'm actually going to use a product which i haven't used before and i'm so so excited to, to try it. it is the um anastasia beverly hills dewy set and oh my god so i ordered this literally the other day haven't even used it oh, oh my god look at the packaging oh, look at that oh my god oh my god oh my god and apparently it smells like coconut Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna spritz my face in this because I feel like that's gonna give me a really nice glue. Oh, it smells so good. And finally, I'm gonna do my lips. Obviously, saw on his Insta stories that he used the KKW, the new stuff, but I don't have that. Instead, I'm going to use, you guessed it, the HMV Cosmetics, the new uh, liquid lipsticks and a lip gloss over the top. So I'm thinking 
obsessed is like the perfect nude and she had a nude lip and then i'm going to put a gloss in the center i did watch the tutorial on how he did it and he mixed so many different colors but i'm just going to stick with a couple um so i'm going to line my lips with mac strip down i think and i'm gonna try and do what he did where he almost put lip liner all over the lips and he like blotted it i'm gonna take the shade obsessed and put this on definitely that perfect brownie nude that she went for finally i'm gonna take the lip gloss um i'm good because it's got more of a pink undertone to it and her lips like got a slight pink to it i'm gonna see how this mixes kind of pressing it over the top lovely 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 so this is the final look obviously i haven't got my hair um how she had it or anything like that but it's kind of just like a look inspired by what she did at the met gala um so i've got the halo lid eye the nude lip the glowy skin you know look, i really like it i really like the kind of like smoky vibes of the eye it's not really what i'd usually do so yeah i really really i'm happy with the way it turned out um yeah i hope you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up um and i'm sure i'll see you soon with another one bye